Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks absolutely destroyed the Boston Celtics in game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. I know the score says Milwaukee won by 12, but trust and believe this game was 100% not that close. Giannis, a triple-double, 24, 13, and 12. And he struggled from the field. How many times have you seen on a stat line Giannis shoot 9 of 25 that far under 50%? You're probably never going to see Giannis have a shooting game like that. But even despite Chris Middleton not playing, despite Giannis' poor shooting, he dominated that basketball game, which means his Milwaukee Bucks team dominated the Boston Celtics in game one. They've now taken home court. And if they're able to get game two, that's kind of like adding – icing on top of a cake they don't need game two they're champs they know how to win in Milwaukee if they don't know how to do anything else but all the pressure goes to Jason Tatum Jalen Brown Marcus Smart and the Boston Celtics who by the way Smart's dealing with a quad injury so we shall see I wanted to make this point clear about the Greek freak though because that game in Boston on Sunday was all about him again only 24 points struggled from the field but he was the reason I don't want to say he was the reason for the season like Jesus Christ, but be clear, he was the reason for the Celtics' struggles. He's doing it on both the offensive and defensive sides of the court right now. There's literally nothing you can do with him. And I want to say this. I, I believe Giannis is the best player in the world. I believe he's been that for about a year and a half now. He had to prove it in the postseason, which he did last year. One of the things we're realizing about today's game is – Yes, a Kevin Durant might have more skills than Giannis, might be more dynamic than Giannis, a Kyrie Irving as well. Even a Jason Tatum in this series might have more ways to get a bucket than Giannis under the Kumpo. But here's the thing. When you need a bucket, and it's about will, desire, and hunger in the postseason, Giannis is the guy that can still get the job done for you. Over a KD, over a Tatum. I'd argue even over Kawhi Leonard as well. You're going to struggle. When, when you got a, a league where jump shots are so prevalent like they are today, guys are going to have off-night shooting. But you want to understand why a guy like Giannis can have a 9 out of 25 night from the field but still dominate the game because he can get to the rim. His nine buckets were most likely like layups or free throw line and under. So he can get to the rim and still score while he's struggling. He can still get you 24 points in a struggle game. And on the defensive end, he's going harder than the other team's role player center. He's pretty much going harder than the other team's worst starter on every given possession. That is why he's the best player in the world. And I picked the Bucks to win this series despite Middleton being out. Forgot if I said six or seven games. But that is why I know deep down the Celtics can't win because Giannis, at the age of 26, he did it. He's 27 now. Continues to be the hardest worker on the court and off the court. And when Kevin Durant or Jason Tatum are putting up thousands of jump shots, maybe Giannis isn't putting up a thousand shots like them, but he's putting up 600, which is more than enough to get you better. But when he leaves after his 600th shot, make or miss, he's going to the weight room. And that 40% of time that Giannis is putting in to the weight room day in, day out, has created this mammoth of a man. I mean, you can tell how hard the brothers worked. The brother has two brothers in the league. One plays on Milwaukee. They all got the genetics, the nastiest, and they both got the genetics. But you could just look at how much more Giannis has worked than even his brothers. And, and by the way, Thanasis is above due. But Giannis, clear as day, has just outworked everybody, not just getting shots up, not just getting better at his Euro step, getting better with the ball in his hands. He's put the work into his body, his core, his durability. And again, if a Jason Tatum is struggling from a field, if a Kevin Durant is struggling from a field, LeBron even today struggling from the field, the difference between them and, and Giannis, is he's the hardest worker on the court, and there are pretty much no bad nights with Giannis. And because he gets so many layups and dunks in a game, there's a rarity in which Giannis goes four to five possessions at, the, at a time for Milwaukee where he's not involved 
or not engaged on the offensive side of the ball and also the defensive side of the ball. The best player in the world, the Greek freak, if this brother spoke in this country, if he was if he spoke English a little better, if he was from this country natively, we're talking about a, a player that would be the most hyped since LeBron James. The only thing hindering Giannis right now is that he doesn't have the story from an American perspective. Because he's got the story from a national perspective. He's from rags to riches. Him and his brother, they didn't have shoes growing up at one point in time. It didn't happen in Brooklyn. It didn't happen in Chicago. It didn't happen at Memphis. It didn't happen at the University of Tennessee. It didn't happen at the University of Arkansas. It didn't happen at Syracuse. We just didn't see this man's story manifest in front of us enough so he didn't come in with those expectations. But the brother put expectations on himself and has delivered in abundance. Best player in the world. Not even close. Whoever you got is second on your list, Giannis is a 100% leaps and bounds better than whoever your second best player in the world is. Not even up for debate.